out of turn two. Donnie Allison in first. Where will Kale make his move? He comes to the inside. Donnie Allison throws the block. Kale hits him. He slides. Donnie Allison slides. They hit again. They climb into the turn. They're hitting the wall. They're head on the wall. They slide down to the inside. Let's watch those third place cars. They're out of it. His 186th career, and, and there's a fight between Kale Yarborough and Donnie Allison. The tempers overflowing. They're angry. They know they have lost. And what a bitter defeat. A couple of very hard men, very hardly upset. And Bobby Allison has stopped by his brother to help. There's Bobby Allison's car, number 50. It's difficult to tell from here, but whatever <laughs> happened shouldn't really have happened. Brad's by himself, power your door, 23 is getting the push. On you. 23 push, Brad has no help. You're clear, 23 is help. I'll clear whatever you need. Brad's getting the push to the top, now go to half, 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 half. Just doing him, top of three. No, nope, somebody's staying, 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 staying. Keep it up on the wall, keep it on the wall, keep it on the wall. Check out, check out, check out, check out. Lock it down there, lock it down. P4. I'm gonna fucking kill that kid. Good job, Brian. A lot of people question that call, but I want you to look where that cat is and how he got Whoa, it. Whoa, did you see Earnhardt bounce off Kurt Busch there on turn four? He hit, and Earnhardt stuck his hand out the window as soon as they come off turn Oh boy, that's the lamb and the lion going, I gotta see this again. Now Earnhardt's trying to make it three wide. Boom. Right here, you'll see his hand off, replay cut it off there. Wait a minute, you might see it this time. Watch this. Bam. That's just a little light tap. There's that hand waving. <laughs> there, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Kurt, you're number one. Watch your car, watch your car, watch your car. And Wallace with a bit of a shove there from Tyler Reddick. No, Bob, I'm sorry. I, just, I couldn't stop, man. I'm sure he understands the name of the game. What the f***? Infinity Championship makes it ready for the big boy. He sent this guy down and said, you could slow down. You gotta hit the brakes and slow down, Jack. Still there. Logano has no help down there. Nice job, McDowell. We had to run. He takes the 18. Are you kidding me? You freaking idiot. Get back. Get high. Get high. Get high. Hey, oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 McDowell in tow, Dylan on the bottom. It runs on top. Oh! Teammates! Around they go in a hard crash. Kyle Busch. Look on a lease down the back straightaway. 34 is going to push the on you. Over straight. It runs on top. Oh! Teammates! Horrific crash on the final lap of the Daytona 500. Huge pile up on the final lap of the Daytona 500. Everybody has climbed from their cars. Direct me for the win. John Who was the race leader when the caution flag came out? That stops prior to that caution. Boy, Brian Vickers, Dale Earnhardt Jr. That ain't goes on, boys. Vickers hard. Here we Kyle go. Kyle Busch, the dominant car of the day in the wall. That was Sliding, slamming into the infield. Jimmy that Johnson, totally uncalled for. Totally. I don't care who you are. Well, that was just wrong. Caution is out. McMurray was a contender. He's all torn up. And the dominant car of the day. The strongest Chevy and the strongest Dodge in Daytona are wrecked. Let's watch it. I don't know if Kurt got into the back of Tony or not. Let's wait till we get around here and see. Tony's car just, uh, Tony hit the apron. He got down on the apron. He got a little bit loose. Kurt was all over the back of him and there he goes. Tony's dropped the window net on his car. That's a signal to safety workers that he is okay. Peeling off to the inside. Whoa, got a car around. It looks like it might be the 31 car. It's the no, seven. No, it's the seven car. Almost got Casey Kane in that five. Another rookie, Michael Annette, in his first drive for Tommy Baldwin Racing. Yeah, he got down in that really wet part of the pit road entrance down there, and it just turned around with him. They yeah. are in the trunk of Tony Stewart, who thought he had fuel pressure issues. Now, Casey Kane angry about that penalty, but it's a computerized timing system on pit road. 
kind of like those red light cameras, and here's what he said. We were going to get run over by a wrecked car because of their wet pit road, and they're going to penalize us? Yeah, we're going to go another lap here. I, I, I feel for him. I really do. I understand we saw what happened, and uh, it's a shame, but, you know, the rules are the rules, and that's the, that's the job of the officials to, to make the calls. Still three abreast as they come out through here. Brett Bodine, oh, that's Bob oh, Hillen down trouble. inside. There is trouble. Bobby Hillen and Unser get together, sliding through the grass in the infield. Unser's car back on the track. He gets it back down again. Kyle Petty is going to stop and Kyle Oh, Petty. and Kyle go. Petty gets collected. I don't think Kyle locks what went on there. But he said, hey, it's over with now. There's not nothing we can do about it. Let's, let's don't even talk about it right now. Let's, let's cool off. You're exactly right. These guys are out there running as hard as they can run. What they don't need to do is even get together. It's no, hard to control your They're trying your to keep them apart. Almarola is a lap away. They with this 10 for now. He's not clear yet. Block bottom, block bottom. 43 with you. Keep coming. Dylan turns it. Eric Almarola into the wall and turn number three. Hang on to it, bud. Hang on to it. Hang on, hang on. One more coming at you. Yeah, they hooked us. Good job, man. You had us in position. You can't control an idiot. Clear low. Keep coming. No caution. No caution. Keep coming. All the way back to the line here. Daytona 500 winner. Come on. Just win! Did we just pick you win? Hell of a job, buddy. Hell of a job. That's what I mean. You want it. Let me know that you're okay, please. I'm okay. Devastated. Watch the 20. 17's on the right hand side. You know, for a guy that was talking about over aggressive driving, which was Tony Stewart earlier this week, I, I don't understand what his situation was there. Stewart and his crew in his car have had quite a day. How emotional is Tony Stewart? This is his onboard camera. A few minutes ago. He had evidently looked up and saw that he was on the on camera on the big screens around the racetrack and said, move the camera. Now we're gonna leave Pit Road. And NASCAR has NASCAR race control a moment ago told both these drivers, Matt Kenseth in the 17 and Tony Stewart in the 20, to settle down. Well, you know, Kenseth should be hot. He's got a race car that's probably not capable of winning the Daytona 500 now because of that. Black Flag 17, Matt Kenseth will have to come to pit road. And the, the, they're going to throw the green flag. This is them coming off of pit road after they had been warned to settle down. When you, when you leave pit road, you can't go above the yellow line. And he was, in his eagerness to get to the 20 car, went above the yellow line. The green flag is out, so we'll see what Matt does. Well, that's what, oh, oh yeah, right. right there. I, I don't know if the 27 of Mears came up, but the 96 of Klinderman came down. But definitely contact there going into turn one. I believe, I, I might be wrong. We'll have to check and see, but it looked like maybe the rear end was moving that car, like a track bar broke. Uh, Looks to me Klinderman. like Klinderman is the one that's not too happy about it. Oh, yeah, come up here. I got something I want to show you. <laughs> Highly intense. You know, Jeff Burton actually led the Daytona 500 for a while there. And, Ooh, and it was yeah. afterwards, too, when, when he was really upset with, with Clint Boyer. And do we know uh, if they sorted things out or not? Jeff, uh, you want to take that one? It's kind of like I think you need to take a look for yourself here right now. After the race right there, they were having a little bit of a discussion about how things went down. But, you know, it's like... He's not happy. He's not know, talking Pinewood Derby right now. No, he's not talking Pinewood. It's like the Daytona 500s. You don't understand. I mean, that's the passion of our sport right there, of a guy who had a chance to win the Daytona 500 and felt like, maybe you could have helped me, buddy. Everything was fine. You noticed that Jeff was walking away until... Clint had to get the last word, and when he saw whatever he told him, he came running back. <laughs> we've, been we've been talking yeah. all day about this one line.